our son had leukaemia when he was three. And that was a real turning point for us as a family and we sort of left Sydney, came up to the central coast, bought a small farm and started looking at producing and selling our own food. We're running some dairy cows, beef, pastured chickens for meat and for eggs, we've got ducks for meat and for eggs, we've got honey and we've got a market garden. Our farm actually connects onto land that then connects onto the national park. We put in a submission to um, develop a, a bird life corridor along here by planting in that sort of lo lower story um, shrubs and trees. Greater Sydney Local Land Services actually came to me and said, you know, have you seen this deep stem planting methodology? Been seeing worked in, in local councils and had information on. Um, and for me, that just gelled immediately with our ethos here on the farm. So. Um, we like to leverage anything on the farm here with, you know, working with nature and anything that can save us work but ensure a higher success rate is something that we'd love to be involved in. To have been able to do that without chemicals and to be able to afford someone to come in to actually remove all of the area that was causing the problem, um, we would have got that done but it would have taken us 18 months to two years longer to save up the money to be able to do that. So by partnering with the local land services on that particular project, um, we were definitely able to move that along a lot quicker. And encouraging the wildlife um, and the small birds along here, we're actually connecting up through and into the national park. Um, and ultimately, that increasing that edge effect right through from the national park on our property increases the biodiversity, which then has an impact on the profitability and the sustainability of our farm. We've been attending various workshops. As someone new to the area and not knowing anyone, the local land services workshops were a great way for me to connect and meet other like-minded farmers. One of my dearest friends here in the area I actually met through one of the local land services workshops. Um, and it just helps to um, bring people together that have got that similar focus. Um, you know, we're not going to be calling local land services every five minutes with a problem, but we can call other farmers and, and be able to talk things through and just getting those little bits of information and then knowing where to take the next step. I'm equipped, I've got the information or the websites or the people that I need to go to um, to further my education in that area to improve the efficiency and the financial viability of my farm.